the USS North Carolina, the USS Texas, and the USS California. Now, I christen thee, United States ship Minnesota. May God bless this ship and all who sail in her. With the crack of a champagne bottle and balloons in the air, the USS Minnesota is officially christened. <laughs> Ellen Roughhead is a Minnesota native and active naval wife philanthropist. It was only appropriate that she was asked to be the official sponsor of this 377-foot nuclear-powered fast attack submarine. The privilege of christening Minnesota is certainly a highlight in my life. Today is a celebration of the naming of Minnesota. Today is a celebration of all that has gone into making Minnesota the boat that she is and the boat she will always be. Ellen joined naval officers, members of Congress from Minnesota and Virginia, and hundreds of shipyard workers and sailors for a historic christening celebration steeped in tradition. As the ship's sponsor, Ellen will participate in all the milestones of the new sub's life. But nobody's more excited than the USS Minnesota's commander, John Fancher. We've been here for about two years helping the shipyard put it together and test it and uh, this is just, uh, it's kind of like a, a point where it's one step closer to us going to sea which is really what they pay us for and what we want to do. Uh, but it's like the culmination and, and hey, we, we made it this far, we just got the sprint for the next six months and, and we're going to sea so we're, we're excited. The USS Minnesota comes after a long line of successful ships named after the Midwest state that dates all the way back to the Civil War. But Minnesota's newest namesake is mind-boggling. It's a $2 billion, 8,000-ton machine that can stay submerged for up to three months. It's also armed with Tomahawk cruise missiles, MK-48 torpedoes, advanced mobile mines, and an unmanned undersea vehicle. It moves at roughly 28 miles per hour and has a nuclear reactor on board. To see where we've come and where we are now with respects to where we were, uh, it's amazing. It's like playing a video game. Uh, you know, the traditional telephone poles that used to come up and down for the periscopes, we don't have those anymore. It's a joystick and a big flat screen, plasma screen TV. So uh, it is much like playing a big video game driving this ship, and it is amazing. It's very amazing, the technology that we have at our fingertips. Now, the outside of the submarine is made out of rubber, and you'd think it was because it's in order to make it waterproof, but really, it's for the sonar equipment. Construction started back in February of 2008 after years of planning. It's incredible when you think about just how much thought has to go into a new design for a new submarine because, uh, you know, the submarine's going to last 30 years. That's once it's constructed. But the actual program of this class of submarine uh, if you think about when it started to when the last submarine is going to come offline, I mean, it's more than 50 years. So, you know, imagine sitting in a room in 1992, three, you know, and thinking about what the world's going to be and what kind of submarine you need 50 years from now. A crew of 120 men will report to Commander Fancher, where they will sneakily cruise deep beneath the sea through every continent, protecting the interests of the United States. But even though the sub has been christened, it's still got months of testing in the water. So in the meantime, the entire crew is based in an old building at the Norfolk Naval Base in Virginia. Gonna go up here to what we call the officer country, because this is the enlisted submarine insignia right here, the Silver Dolphins, for all the enlisted guys back there. And we're gonna make a right on Twins Avenue. And you can see the gold dolphins up here, which means this where, the, where all the officers uh, work and hang out during the daytime. Naval leaders insist all its sailors know about their ship's namesake. That's why there are reminders of Minnesota everywhere. This bell here is a um, replica from the um, USS Minneapolis-St. Paul SSN 708. It's a nuclear power submarine that got decommissioned about two or three years ago. Even the ship's logo was designed by a Minnesota team and features the state's favorite fish, the walleye but it's a mean looking one to show the power behind this deep sea war machine. The crew does have three members who are actually from Minnesota. As you see this gigantic submarine, what are you thinking? Uh, it's, it's definitely an impressive warship when it's outside the water. Sense of pride since they got Minnesota written on it right now and everything. And, uh, 
just uh, looking forward to putting her in the water and letting her do what she does. How does it feel that the USS Minnesota is going to be your new home? Oh, it's it's amazing. Like I, I was really blessed to be part of this crew. It's something that you know you don't get a chance to do every day. There's also an equal amount of pride from the 1,000 shipbuilders who actually built it from nothing. Your shipbuilding skills give us the confidence that we will need to take her into harm's way anywhere in the world. From the Arabian Sea to the polar ice cap, Minnesota will operate in the harshest environments on the planet as her crew protects the freedom of the seas and the interests of the United States. Workers from Newport News Shipbuilding and General Dynamics Electric Boat built the sub ahead of schedule and under budget. Many came to the christening to see their hard work celebrated. It was built in pieces, as parts from all 50 states, and was assembled in the two-mile-long shipyard in Newport News, Virginia. We're also responsible for making sure that we um, give the Navy a good product, um, and we try to do that efficient as possible, and, and try to be fair to the, to the trades, to our craftsmen by trying to uh, align and coordinate work um, that will um, allow them to be the, the most successful getting jobs done um, effectively. And how many of these have you built? This is, this is the 10th Virginia class submarine and we built five. We have a very unique teaming arrangement where I, our, ourselves, Newport News Shipbuilding and Electric Boat both co-build these things. So, so essentially I build the, the front part, the bow, the, the sail, and, and I build the stern, and they build the pieces in between. But despite the enormity of this world-class submarine, naval leaders and their sponsor insist to the crew, this is just an object. It's up to them to represent the people of Minnesota and give the sub a life. It's then up to Commander Fancher and his crew to add personality to their ship. And given Minnesotans propensity toward resiliency, hardiness, and toughness. After all, how else do you get through those winters? Commander, you've got your work cut out for you. The USS Minnesota is now in water undergoing six months of rigorous testing. It's expected to be commissioned and officially accepted as a warship by the U.S. Navy once everything is completed. The ship's motto is fitting, ex septentrio virtus, meaning from the north and power. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.